Hello? There we go. Alright, any other younger members want to join us? Okay, just have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Alright, so I gotta get this children's message, but oh my gosh. Okay, look, so I have a meeting tomorrow. I know we're having people over at my house, so I gotta go home and clean my house. I gotta get my laundry done. Oh, CC's basketball practice on Wednesday. Um, oh, I got another meeting on Thursday. Actually, I need a sub on Thursday because I can't go to my class. Hello, have a seat. Um, yeah, then Friday we got piano lessons and soccer practice all the same day. Like, it's just crazy. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, and then Saturday we have a soccer game. Um, and then I have to teach Sunday school again. Um, Oh, and then yeah, we have more back to soccer practice. Um, okay, and then and then I'm gone all day, uh, the uh, tenth. Um, <laughs> what day is it today? What day of the week is it? Sunday. Sunday. Where? Church. We're in church. Are you sure we're in church? Oh. So if we're at church, you know what the cool thing about church is? At least for one hour a week, you get to sit still and listen. <laughs> we get to stop our lives and listen for God. How many of you feel that you get super busy during the week? Anybody super busy? Oh, what's this? Now, now I'm getting called. It's the wife. Hello, how are you? Oh, I'm doing okay. How are you, sir? I'm doing all right. I'm telling you, so just message. Oh, wait, you just reminded me. We have a meeting after church, huh? We do. Yeah, we, we do. do have a meeting after church. And then we have to go home. And we're having, you have to have all your friends over tonight, huh? We are. You're right. Okay, I, I got to work. And you know what? Let me finish up the social message and we'll catch up after church. Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> your life sometimes. Sometimes you're at school, right? Maybe you play sports. Maybe you have something else going on in school. You gotta get all your homework done. You guys do your homework? You better do your homework, right? right? And then you have chores. You may have chores at home. I clean your room. Put away the laundry. Help with the dishes, maybe. How many have a pet? You may have a pet at home. Have a dog, cat. Do you have to clean up after your pet? Well, you gotta clean up after goes to the bathroom. That's true. So, but the point is, sometimes our lives get too busy. What's the one thing I haven't done today? I have meetings. I have to go to school. I have to do laundry. I have to clean the house. I have my friends over. I have to start practice. Who am I forgetting? God. Thank you, Richard. I forget God. Has God fit in my schedule at all? Do I have God on my schedule? No. That happens sometimes, right? Sometimes we get too busy. Did you know? Psalm 46.10 says, Be still and know that I am God. Have I, am I very still? No. Sometimes that's the hardest part, huh? But that's when God talks to you. God has a plan for your life. Every single one of you, God has a plan. You're going to become this. You're going to go to this school. You're going to move to this. But we don't know the plan if we're never listening. Okay? So that's the message today. we got to find time to be still and listen to God. Because God has a plan. Does that make sense? All right. Can you pray with me, please? Dear God, thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for the stories of the Bible. Help us remember to rest in you and be more aware of your presence. Thank you for your love. We love you, God. Thank you, Jesus. In his name, amen. All right, let's go to the center.